Dove, to apply color to a surface crudely. Did you know that? Well, now you do. I'm Jenna Herbert, and you are watching Make It TV, where I interview creative entrepreneurs who are making a living doing what they love. Today, my guest is Lexi Sokareff, who is the owner of Dove and Design. Yay. I'm so happy to talk to you, Lexi, amongst all your gorgeous leggings. So, Dove and Design, how did you get started? Well, we began as a swimsuit company back in 2010. And we've kind of changed a little bit since um, we began uh, doing more active wear now. Um, still the same premise, same aesthetic. Um, definitely like a tie-dyed look. Um, yeah, that's kind of how it all <laughs> that's started. A, that's a brief history, but it's amazing how far you've come in four years. Because I know when I first met you, it was maybe at the Make It Show like three years ago. And I think actually we met, we met before then because we met at Autumn Shift Festival and oh. you came up to me and were like, hey, I do this show, <laughs> Have you or like, would you consider doing it? And I was like, oh yeah, sure, like, I'll try it out. And then that's kind of how all of this began was I started wow. selling everything at Make It and realized like I could make money doing this. And then it just kind of stemmed into other shows, then online, wholesale, and to where we are now. Well, so. I am happy I came by your booth on I'm that so day. I'm so happy you did. <laughs> that's fantastic. so awesome. Uh, so had you always been interested in fashion? I had been, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, there's the, the little girl story where, of course, you play with Barbie dolls, you make them your own clothes, and then I also took fashion design classes in high school, and I worked with a textile designer out of Summerland. And so how did you get into to tie-dye? With a mentor in Summerland. Uh, her name is Susan Lobatecki. My mom had signed me up for, I guess it was like a continuing education in the summer, like basically uh -huh. something to keep me out of trouble. Right. <laughs> Little did she know that it would stem into a full business, of <laughs> course. So now, do you consider yourself more of an artist, more of a business person, kind of a super hybrid of both? I would say a super hybrid. I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. Um, well, for one, like I'm a Libra, so like balance is really important mm -hmm. to me, of course. But um, there's definitely a business side of things. And for the longest time, I didn't actually identify with being an artist. Mm. But the more I've kind of come, I don't want to say to terms with it, but the more I've been more comfortable with the idea, sure. the easier it's been. And mm -hmm. so, um, I mean, I work on such a high production level, right? Um, but there's still definitely like an artist hand to each piece. Well, each each one of your pieces is one of a kind and unique. Like you don't have anything that's identical. So that in yeah. itself, it's just the medium that you're using is different than say like a painter or a sculptor or a potter. So with clothing, I mean, we're in a society now where clothing's almost disposable. Like when you look at Zara and H&M and all these big box retailers. So your leggings obviously cost a little bit more than H&M or, you know, Joe Fresh or whatever. Why do you think people are willing to spend extra money to buy handmade products? I think if you're going to be offering a handmade product, it has to be one of quality, it has to be one of value, and it has to have something that sets it apart. Um, and in our case, it totally does. It's a high quality fabric, it's hand dyed, um, it's functional, um, all of these things, which kind of, it adds to the value. As soon as I start talking about it, people kind of get it. and. You know, they, they understand more and it's, it's telling a story and no matter what the brand is, um, whoever is selling it is telling that story of themselves and kind of how the whole thing evolved. Well, thank yes. you so much for being with us today, Lexi. I, I love watching you and every time I see you on the Today Show or like uh, your leggings somewhere, I just am like, yeah, I remember cool. <laughs> approaching her at that festival and so yeah, it's, it's awesome to see how you've grown. So yeah, best of really luck, fun. we're so happy to have you on Make It this year. And cool. Thank you so much for watching Make It TV. I'm Jenna Herbert, and if you enjoyed this video, and of course you did, uh, make sure you share it with your friends. Also, if you have any tips, ideas, suggestions, leave them in the comment, and make sure you follow our channel, Make It TV. And I will see you next time.